So if you're powdering all the stuff on the ground, it's gonna be less icy, especially when it's got water sprayed everywhere and then it turns to ice. I'm thinking nowadays, it's not like if you're gonna drop salt on the road with a truck that has a dispensing of salt. You're, you don't have to check with your local sheriff, but what if there's a bad guy who went around? If at any point in time, the short circuit had some, something like this, put in inward motion, and so is the nodes of this. So here's the moving the goalpost, the ultimate way of doing it is to stick everyone on molds and so that they're focused on how smooth a mole could be as opposed to how accurate an atom's molecule actually is. Use it, what's a mole? Uh, a molar mass of an atom and have an entire economy, uh, you know, gaslit over these moles. How smooth a mole is versus how uh, well versed the atoms are. It can be as devaluing gold immensely. And this can be in turn looked at as how you view infrastructures. Take an airport, for example, how it can be trash everywhere. And then the hospitality of the people working there plummets immensely. And it leads people to do stuff such as the bass player in X Japan to off himself. This is you being confused for bad infrastructure and then actually being used as it as well. How many things at face value just on, you know, looking at stuff all about at surfaces, how everything's broken. I wonder how bad it is, the stuff that we can't see, like underground. It's like, yes, I understand. No one's as accurate as measuring an atom per atom and how they're working well. And then a mole of the equivalence of all the molecules is on larger and larger scales because that's a currency of more and more moles or more and more atomic malfeasances if everything's corrupt like sirens going in emergencies everywhere. It's that easier to move the goalposts. And in doing so, it gets us confused as everything looking broken around you and you're not even caring because it's subliminally been there the whole time until one day you're walking underneath a telephone wire and for no odd reason it falls on top of your head or you walk by a trash can and you get hit with a bioweapon They say this is ghetto because I'm living like that. Anywhere in the streets, I see broken stuff right off the bat. I'm like, damn, man, how bad it's going to get. Everywhere I look is, everywhere it is. I can't swear, but I just effing did. Light and sound are key elements, and they're so easy to understand if you have enough acoustic data in traveling if you were using your ears to the amount of moles that are kinematically exerted through driving you would be able to echolocate any street and so in light being cast the back draft of the back end is a shadow and so that logic is in a universal and extremely important in combining sound and light together. Diagnosis that are complete, you're gonna wanna have both. Because in like areas in the city, they have these cameras everywhere and they also have these like shock absorbers where if there's a gunshot, police suddenly go to that area because the reverberance of the box reads the shot. So these reverberance readings are real and so are harmful hazardous waste. So why can't be there harmful hazardous waste resonating boxes? 
instead of you being one. The most natural lights you can have is what a star provides and you capture it by having things open to it. But when the sun goes down, how much can you obtain the light naturally through stuff glowing? Like all the surface about me has silver linings protruding at a lot of different points and that's what's making the collection evolve them. If the sun was to fall, be brighter on these areas uh, as opposed to areas that don't have ice and coating all about. It's just like the ice cubes that have really bright spots in areas, usually in corners. And so the corner of all the road about is almost like you collect all the streets that were named Elm. The characteristic of that sculpture could be scary if you form them in a way that's scary or it could be happy if you form all the streets in a shape that's happy. But back to the, with the natural light, how secure it could be. Anything, any area has a potential to turn into a black hole if it's dense enough. A black hole can be spinning on its surface as the event horizon and the singularity in it is supposed to be stationary and doesn't spin. So within those two things is the best key uh, encryption ever. Protecting your privacy is so important, especially in banking, if it's a cashless society. If at any point in time the short circuit had something where it was gonna cause an outlet to surge, I think it would be triggered by a whole bunch of tiny droplets firing off at the same time during the month. Do you know how to read in between the lines with your original eyes? You can originalize the difference of wood and starch. And this is what cellulose is. And cellulose can be artificial just as light. The artificial light making it as natural as possible is if you would read into the wire work of what makes a light bulb turn on. But a lot of the times it's the thing being abrased and then the abraser can be completely different. This can make a world of difference and it's for this mere fact that you can't label anything evil on, unless it's just being utilized bad like the nucleus of atoms are just the calculator of the material senses. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be bad if it's being used against you and you're trapped. That's why you have to understand how convoluted a demented thing is and unscrabble it. Have you ever driven a big vehicle off the road a bit? And then going back onto the road, if it's a ditch, your wheel has to pop back onto the road. That distance, if your vehicle's heavy and you're going fast, can be extreme and sometimes can lead to barrel rolls. This difference of a pop, if you have a bigger and bigger mass, and you're going faster and faster can be so extreme that it could cause an entire wipeout. This is the difference of what a hard shell is versus a paper lining, a dynamite to a powder cake. What's a powder cake? That's an olden day term that they used to use if you've ever played the original video game Donkey Kong, he throws these barrels. And if I remember correctly, I think some of them explode because there's powder in it. That's a powder cake. It's kind of like dynamite, but it's got more wood about the outskirts. And so it'll pack a bigger punch. And so if you're powdering all